Hi everyone, welcome back to the Planner Tutorials Hub. Michael Lapache here. I've got a quick, a quick tip video tutorial for you today about printing the Gantt chart and how to make it look a little bit prettier. Let's go check it out. Now, um, let's say you're going to go ahead and print the, the Gantt chart. So we'll do a file print preview. Now, one of the challenges I have with the Gantt chart printing is that um, if you kind of accept the default values here, You'll notice that I'm trying to start printing from the start of the Gantt chart, the start of the project, and I want to go all the way to the end of the project, but things look really kind of smushed up together, both at the start as well as at the end. So here's a quick little trick to adjust the timeline in the print preview options. So I'm in print preview, I go up here to the page setup icon. <clears throat> and I check out the options tab. And on the options tab is where you can specify the timescale start and the timescale finish. And you can see we have these variables in here. PS stands for project start, PF stands for project finish. Well, what I wanna do is I want to change the timescale so that it starts not right on the project start date, but a little bit before. So we're gonna add a little bit of time there so that things don't look so smushed up in the printing. So what I'll do is I will actually subtract some time. So you can type this in, you can type in three uh, PS minus say three weeks. And I'll do the same thing for the PF, except I'll add three weeks here. So three W is a short form for three weeks. Put those in, go ahead and click okay. And have a look at what the print preview shows you now. You can see I bought myself a little bit of time there and it looks a lot better uh, and at the uh, the end here where i can see kind of this milestone and there's a few other activities i've kind of given myself a little bit of extra space so that's my quick tip for you today hope you have a great day come on back to the planner tutorials hub